Hey, welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra. If you ever need to get a hold of me, Tony the Pharmacist at gmail.com. I'm going to go over a number of mnemonics from the Memorizing Pharmacy Technician Mnemonics uh, book. You can get it in ebook, audiobook, or print book uh, on Amazon or Audible. And what I want to do is make sure that you understand and how to memorize the medications within the five DEA schedules. Let's start with our first mnemonic, C1 drugs. And my mnemonic is one helm, H-E-L-M. And with this one, think that you have like one head, so one helm for the C1 medications, that will definitely mess with your head. So H is heroin, E is ecstasy, L is LSD, and M is marijuana. If you want to get technical, the LSD stands for lysergic acid diethylamide, and marijuana, yes, it's legal in some states, but the federal classification is still Schedule One. but there are uh, ways to use it. Our second group is going to be with Schedule Two medications, and I say it's Champ Fog, so with this one I think of a two-time boxing champ in a fog with the medications in DEA Schedule Two. C for cocaine, I get it. Cocaine is illegal, but they do use it in some, especially ophthalmic uses. H, hydrocodone and hydromorphone. A, amphetamine with amibarbital. M, methamphetamine, methadone, methylphenidate. P, pentobarbital. And then the fog part of it, fentanyl, oxycodone, and glutethamide. So again, it's champ fog cocaine, hydrocodone, hydromorphone, amphetamine, amobarbital, methamphetamine, methadone, methylphenidate, pentobarbital for the CHAMP, and then fentanyl, oxycodone, glutethamide for the fog. Schedule three medications, there aren't a ton of these. Uh, I say three tax test. So you are imagining a test that you got an A on with three tacks in the cork board. You can remember testosterone and the other meds in the C3 DEA drug schedule. So T, testosterone. AC is for acetaminophen with codeine, 90 milligrams or less per dosage unit. K is ketamine, and S is for the steroids, anabolic. So T, testosterone. AC, acetaminophen with codeine, 90 milligrams or less per dosage unit. K for ketamine, and S for steroids, anabolic. Now, Schedule Four drugs have a lot of medications, and the majority of them are going to be benzodiazepines with the azepam or azelam ending. And that might be one of the easier ways to remember it. But let me go through this list and talk about the mnemonic. So the mnemonic for the C4 drugs, four calm cats, spelled C-A-T-T-T-Z, and you think of four cats sleeping, but just spelled differently for the DEA Schedule C4 medications. So C is for clonazepam. Some people like to call it clonazepam. That's brand name clonopin. A is for alprazolam, brand Xanax. L is for lorazepam, brand Ativan. And M is for midazolam, brand Versed. And what I would do is I would take the time to just memorize those four to start. Clonazepam, alprazolam, lorazepam, midazolam. Notice that the two endings of azepam and azolam are there from the benzodiazepine. And then move on to the cat's half of the mnemonic. So then you go on to carisoprodol, brand Soma. A for Ambien, which is the brand name of Zolpidem. T, Tramadol, Ultram. T, Temazepam, which is Restoril. T, Triazolam, Halcyon. And Z, Zaliplon, which is brand Sonata. So again, the four calm cats, uh, that's what uh, helps you remember the C4 medications. But in general, if you have a benzodiazepine, that's probably on there. And if you have a sleeping pill like Ambien, which is Zolpidem, or Zaliplon, which is Sonata, uh, that's probably going to be on there as well. Our final group of the mnemonics is C5 drugs, 5 paste. So you're pacing around because you're worried that it's a scheduled drug. P is for pregabalin, which is brand Lyrica. AC is for and cough, as in Robitussin AC or Cheritussin AC, which also could mean and codeine. E for elixirs, 200 milligrams of codeine in every 100 mLs. And then D for diphenoxalate with atropine, that's brand Lamotil. 
and you can just even hear that it causes low motility uh, for somebody that has a very severe diarrhea that isn't of an infectious origin. So again, this is one of the mnemonics that I'm going to go over from the book Memorizing Pharmacy Technician Mnemonics, a practice exam study guide for the PTCVs, PTCE, and NHAs except pharmacy technician exams. The big thing that I find is that students tend to want to do many, many questions, but don't slow down enough to memorize what they have to get down. So what I want to do with this video series is make sure that as we're kind of going through these various topics that we take the time to slow down make sure that okay any question with a DEA schedule that's going to have a reasonable medication in it I'm gonna be able to get that medication because I've got the mnemonics down and while my personal preference is the audiobook because I have three ten-year-olds right now uh, I'm very busy and always kind of have my headphones in Sometimes people prefer the ebook because they just like to flip through it. And the way that it's set up is that, and I'll show you in just a second, uh, that the first part of it has the question, and then the second part has the question, the answer, and the rationale. And then some people like the paperback as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, a question that we might see. So the question asks A patient has severe insomnia, needs Zolpidem brand Ambien to help them sleep. What DEA schedule would this fall under? And what we do is we just recall our mnemonic, and I'll bring up the slide here. And we see that Ambien forms the A of our Calm Cats mnemonic, and that's the brand name of Zolpidem. But even if we didn't remember that, we remember that in general, a benzodiazepine ending in azepam or azolam, or something that helps you sleep, like Ambien and Zaleplon, uh, those are going to be on the list of Schedule Four medications. And then we just mark our answer C. Yes, it was Schedule 4 uh, because Zolpidem is a Schedule 4 medication uh, under the DEA schedule. Again, if you want to get in touch with me, TonyThePharmacist at gmail.com. Uh, otherwise, I will work to make a couple of more of these slides. If you enjoy what you're hearing, just uh, comment below on the YouTube videos and it just uh, under the Tony Farm D channel. Uh, and you can subscribe there uh, as well as the podcast.